A combination of geology and the raw power of the ocean make Iceland's most famous black sand beach a deadly attraction for international visitors. The black sands and roaring waves of Rianistra Beach are among the main attractions along Iceland's scenic south coast. Despite its haunting beauty, sneaker waves have claimed the lives of tourists who were carried out to sea. Now local authorities are working on a plan to make the area safer. So what exactly are sneaker waves? Sneaker waves are a natural phenomenon which happens when several smaller waves combine their energy to create one bigger wave. It can happen because of ocean currents, or in the case of Rianistra, because of an underground cliff just offshore, which adds to the pulling effect of the wave. At Rianistra Beach, sneaker waves come in much further than other waves, are incredibly powerful, and can quickly sweep an adult out to sea. Getting back to shore is extremely difficult if caught in a sneaker wave and with water temperatures just a few degrees above freezing, hypothermia can set in quickly. Following last month's most recent death at Rianistra, the fifth fatality in the past seven years, a heated discussion resumed over whether to close the beach or implement new safety measures. Rianistra has the whole package stunning basalt columns, beautiful lava formations, the black sands and lovely views of sea stacks, glaciers and bird cliffs, said Perla Magnus Daughter, a guide in Iceland that regularly takes tourists to its most famous littoral. And if you're lucky in the summer, you could even spot puffins flying over the area. Indeed, indeed, the site is wildly popular among tourists. According to data from Visit South Iceland, about 133,000 people visited Rianistra in the first half of 2022. A color-coded warning system in the works. Rianistra's path is marked with warning signs that warn of waves. As a result of the most recent death, authorities decided that additional measures were necessary. The Icelandic Road Administration will install a new light system next to the existing signs by the parking lot and footpath in Rianistra and a camera system will be set up to monitor the area. Officials used police incident reports to determine what wave height poses a significant risk to visitors. The danger is color-coded with green, yellow, and red to indicate the threat posed by waves. We are very hopeful that the new lighting system as an add-on to the signs will prevent travelers from entering dangerous areas, said Stefan Frerik Frerikson, a project manager with Visit South Iceland. It's good that these measures have been taken to ensure safety in Rianistra. Guides have witnessed many close calls at the beach. I have seen some hats, cameras and backpacks taken into the sea and a lot of wet and cold feet, said Perla. I have also seen a lot of people in shock since these sneaker waves don't give any signal before coming much closer inshore. A few weeks ago, I managed to rescue one woman after she fell and a wave got to her. She started laughing since she didn't understand the seriousness of the matter, she added. Beach closures have been advocated by some government officials during dangerous waves. We can't face this situation for much longer, Minister of Tourism Lilia Dog Alfrister told Icelandic news outlet Visor last month. One of the things which we can do is close Rianistra, but temporarily, she said. No one is talking about closing Rianistra completely just when the tides are at such a point that they can prove deadly. But we will, of course, do this in cooperation with the landowners and the tourism industry. Blowing the whistle on sneaker wave danger. Tour guide Perla Magnus' daughter is hopeful the new system will get travelers' attention, in addition to her personal warnings. I think it is a good idea to try some safety system instead of closing the place altogether like some people have been suggesting, said Perla guides are trained to warn their groups of travelers of the dangers, and many try to reach tourists traveling alone, without a guide. I am usually such an easygoing guide, but just before I take travelers to this place, I turn into this super strict person," said Perla. I tell my guests to forget everything that they know about how to behave on a normal beach. I explain that they can never turn their back against the sea and they should always keep a few meters between them and the sea and be on the lookout for the so-called sneaker waves. As a referee, Perla will blow a loud whistle to warn visitors if they get too close to the sea. 
There have been criticisms of the new system, claiming the lights will be distracting and Rhaenystra will lose some of its charm. Perla disagrees, all of Iceland can be dangerous, the nature here is so raw and untouched, she said. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't enjoy it. We simply need to respect the power of it, but also try new ways to keep our travelers informed and learn to enjoy it in a safe and respectful way.